Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be screen recording our PlayStation 4 Slim using our Mirrorbox capture card. And this is what we're going to be using today. We're going to be using a laptop, the PlayStation 4 Slim, the Mirrorbox capture card from 2019, an HDMI cable, and a USB 3.0 cable. So here's a little diagram I made to kind of give you a better idea of what we're going to be doing today. And then next, we're going to open up our laptop or the recording PC. We're going to do a web search for OBS Studio to download the OBS Studio software. Or should I say Open Broadcaster Software. So since we are using Windows 10, I'm going to download the Windows version. Okay, once that's downloaded, we are going to install it. So I'm going to press Next. Make sure you read over the license information and press next when you are ready. I'm going to do install. And then we are going to press finish. So it's going to open up OBS Studio and I'm going to do optimize for recording since that's what we're going to be using it for. I'm going to press next. I'm going to press next again. I'm going to press apply settings. So we're going to go over the settings again later. For now, let us restart our computer. So while the computer is restarting, we are going to prep our hardware here. So we're going to grab our HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI out port of the PlayStation Slim. So I'm going to plug that in there. And the other end of the HDMI cable, I'm going to plug it into the mirror box capture card. So this old mirror box only has two ports. So one of them is the HDMI and I'm going to plug it in here. Next we're going to grab our USB 3.0 cable and we're going to plug in that cable right here. And we're going to plug the other end of the USB 3.0 cable to the USB 3.0 port of our laptop. Next we want to turn on the laptop. And we're going to plug in our PlayStation 4 Slim. So once that is good to go, we are going to open up our OBS Studio. Next, we are going to add our source. So our source is the Mirrorbox Capture Card. So under Sources, I'm going to press Plus. And then I'm going to click Video Capture Device. And yeah, I'm going to click OK. And we're going to select Mirrorbox Video Capture. So as you can see, we don't have anything on the screen right now. So we should probably turn on our PlayStation 4 Slim so that you can actually see something on the screen. So I'm going to turn on our PS4. OK. So once the PS4 is turning on, so as you can see right here, you can see the PlayStation logo. I'm going to wait for it to um, kind of get to the uh, uh, a kind of a steady screen first. And then I'm going to click OK. All right. So next, let's go over our settings. So I just wanted to show everybody what settings I usually have. I mean, I don't usually record gaming, but um, I do get a lot of questions about it. So usually I check the output settings right here and this is what I usually have it set to. I usually have it saved to videos folder but you can change that and then here's my quality and output type. So I usually have it um, recording format is MOV but feel free to play around with it and try other formats as well. For audio I usually have everything set to default but if you wanted to get specific you can actually select Mirrorbox Video Capture. Alright, so another thing I like to check is the video. So for video, I usually have it set to 1080p at 30fps. Uh, this old Mirrorbox capture card can go up to 60fps. Um, but I think the new one can go 4K. So yeah, but usually I have it set to uh, 1080p at 30fps, but that's just me. And for here, the advanced, you can actually change the uh, file name type. So for recording, I usually have it set to the date and time. 
and let's go over our audio so under audio mixer you can see that we have live audio coming from Mike Ox so I'm gonna click the cog right here and then I'm gonna click advanced audio properties so here you can actually increase the decibel or uh, lower the decibels and for me in terms of settings I usually have monitor and output the reason why is you get a live preview of the audio and then the audio is in the final recording as well so there's two other options monitor off or monitor only um, but for the most part I just use monitor and output so the reason why I use monitor and output like I said is you get the live audio on the preview and then it also gets saved in the final recording so yeah so once I have that set I click close and then as you can see here, even Mike Ox 2 has um, volume coming out as well. Since I don't want to confuse myself, we can actually hide this by clicking on the cog and then press uh, hide just to avoid confusion, especially if you're working with uh, multiple sources. So I'm going to click hide and that's gone. So feel free to play around with it. But for now, I just want one audio source. So let's actually do a, um, a recording test. So I'm going to click start recording and I imagine since most people are going to be gaming yeah, you can actually do a full screen preview as well so right click that and do full screen. So in that case um, when you're gaming you won't be bothered by all the extra stuff on the screen. Um, just something that I thought of that uh, people might uh, want to know. So like I said you can do a preview and full screen so that might help you out. And then this is just kind of a little bit of a demo. So when you're done uh, gaming and you want to stop the recording, you can just press escape and then it'll bring you back to here and then you can stop the recording. So as you saw earlier, we have our recording saved to our videos folder. So let's open it up and let's do um, just a quick check on it. So right here, as you can see, so this is what we recorded. So I won't play through the entire um, clip, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I do hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you everybody for watching. Take it easy.